Hey guys, it's Beast Lifts here. How you guys doing? Um, hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Uh, we are going to go ahead and do some back today. My camera does need to charge a little bit before the gym so I don't get to yap in this intro, but I will yap on the way back home. So, catch you guys at the gym in a few minutes. Alright guys, we are back. We are in motion. Hey, 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 buddy. Let's get it. That felt good. Well, today's video is featuring 411 Jose and Melvin. That was be good. Is we, oh, 410? Oh, my bad, my bad. But yeah, give me a good video. We're doing Jose's back day. Let's see if it's good or not. It's the last set. Let's, let's go to failure. We'll do a 187, see how it feels today. Seat's too high. set or a good last set huh without failure yeah just lower it down all right it's okay we got more exercises catch you guys on the next one seated rows like last time lightweight for a warm-up and then we'll go into with heavier on the last one Mr. Dino. Dino's in the video now. Welcome to the video. Say hello to the camera. Say hello to the camera.
Listen, buddy. Don't mess with me. You're on camera. Alright. He's getting discontinued from the vlog. I'll catch you guys on the next one. It is time for single arm seated rows. Let's get it. Uh, hope you guys are having a good time. Watch me lift this. Fucking wait. some biceps towards the end um, yeah I mean I'm having a good workout but it's one of those days where you're having a good workout but you just you're not feeling it today's one of those days for me which is a hundred percent okay you know some days you're gonna come in here you're gonna feel like a fucking a million bucks and like I'm gonna feel like sebum or like fucking Sam Sulek or I mean Tom Plyce, any of those guys. Let's, I'll come in feeling like those those guys some days. But you know, some days like today, I'll come in and out. I feel like I just I don't want to push this fucking weight, man. But I'm still here, still working my ass off, and that's what fucking matters. Make sure you always the days you don't want to go the most. Like I really I was so comfortable in bed, but nothing. I'm not gonna get shit sitting in my bed all day and all night, you know. As much as it is comfortable, comfortable doesn't get you goals. So, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta separate yourself from the rest, you know, whatever it takes. That's the mindset I have. Whatever it takes, you know, even if you get called weird for doing whatever it takes, you know? If you're in the gym 24 seven chasing your goals, busting your ass off, not socializing, not going to parties, not drinking, not all that, and you get called weird, who gives a fuck, man? Work your fucking ass off. Do what you want, get your goals, have fun doing it. Take millions of progress pictures too. I, I love taking progress pictures. I wish I had more, but you know, at the end of the day, it's good, it's good to see where you started and where you're going. So, yeah. Gonna finish out these next few sets and I'll catch you guys on the last one. So, just a little motivation for y'all. Last one, last one. We're gonna drop set it, so. We'll do. 66 till failure, and then we're all dropped up to about 44 into that today. So let's get it.
drop setting. or something or not but catch you guys in a few this is the last set for this after this we're doing one more curl workout and we're done oh, it's fucking late i'm exhausted but it's been a pretty decent look i can't complain you know i got in here i got it done so let's go ahead and knock the shit out we're gonna do a 35 for as many as i can I just, I just want to go past my limits a little bit. So I'll do 35 for as many as I can. And then I'm going to, um, once I can't do that many, 35 anymore, I'm going to do 30 for as many as I can. So let's see. Bicep workout and I'm done. And then we go check out the pretty mid pump. You guys are 
This is the last workout. You were in my frame, pal. Don't don't do that again. I'm beast lifts. You don't want you don't want to get in my frame. All right, we're gonna do the um, curl like this. Let's see how many I can get in. you guys during the um, pump check. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. See you guys in a few. Pump check time. Don't let the shirt fool you as always. Not actually this big. I just like to wear small shirts. <laughs> Let's get it. Nice little back and by today. Uh, ooh, crampy. I love doing back, man. It's thanks to my dad for his fucking Ooh, massive fucking back genetics he gave me. Oh, yeah. That's a nice little pump. So, thank you guys for tuning in as always. Catch you guys in the car on the way back for a little chat. Yeah. How's it going, guys? Beast loves back at you. How y'all doing tonight? Hopefully, you guys are. I know last video I kind of messed up with the mic on placement because I put on my seatbelt and my freaking hat was covering it, so I apologize. 
I'll go this way for the light. I know there's a massive pothole here, so I'm gonna try and avoid it. Um, nice workout, nice workout. I mean, like I said in the video earlier, it, it's a, it was a nice workout, but it was just one of those, man, where you like, I really didn't want to be there, and quite honestly, like I, I got off work, took like a, a quick 30, 40 minute nap, and like I was just laying there, man. I was like, damn, like, gotta go to the gym, gotta go to the gym, you know? And I was so comfortable because it's nice and cold out here today. You know, so nice and cold under the sheets, and you know, I felt very comfortable. But you know, I'm not gonna achieve shit doing that. You know, if I if I do that one day, what if I do it tomorrow and then the next day, and then I get this in this habit of skipping the gym because oh, I'm too comfortable. You know, I don't want to do that. Um, so I got up, put on some Rocky music, you know, and started just like I'm just gonna do that. I just kind of told myself I gotta go, gotta go. You know. Gotta, gotta get up, gotta do this shit, gotta finish it, you know? Even if I don't wanna do it, you know, I gotta go. Even if I half-assed it, like, I mean, obviously I didn't half-ass it, which is good, you don't wanna half-ass it if you, if you really, hold on, lost my train of thought. My brain hurts from lifting. <laughs> if you can go when you don't feel like going, even if you half-ass it, you, the biggest thing is you still win. You still tried your hardest in that workout and that's what matters the most. Because the days, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself, but the days that you don't want to go the most is the days you should go. Because you get in the habit, you're like, damn, I don't want to go today. Fuck it, let's go. I put all my stuff, made my pre-workout, talked to my mom, left. Just like that clockwork, you know? I got here, you know, lifting was nice, felt light. Like, I, I wasn't in the mood to lift, you know? I was in the mood to sleep and be comfortable. But comfort doesn't get your goals. Always remember that. Comfort kills, it does not make goals, all right? So I got in there, finished that shit, had a, it was fun. Melvin and Jose with me, were with me. Um, Dino ended up showing up, did his own thing. But, and Alan was there too, that he was at the beginning. But um, it's fun to go with friends, you know. You, we, we're all growing up now. And we're all got our jobs, careers that we want to go into. It's just so much harder to like see each other really, you know. And it sucks, you know, we're not 15, 16 anymore where we can see each other every day. So those are the good times. And if you're in that age range, 15, 16, 17, like almost 18, enjoy that shit while you can, you know. Have fun with your friends, go out, but also focus on the goals you have set for yourself. Don't don't let it don't let it go. I can do it next year. I can do it next year. That is what I messed up on big time. I kept telling myself, there's next year, I'll do it next month. Next month turn into next year, next year turn into next two years, and so on. You know. When you got a goal, write it down, write the plan, execute. That's all you gotta do. You know, and it's it's not gonna work out at first. Like when I first got back into the gym, I was very inconsistent. I was very unmotivated. I just I I kinda had to force myself in a way. You know, for the first week I went maybe like the first like month I went like two, three times out of the week, you know. But then that consistent consistency catches in, just like that. You go two, three days out of the month, like out of the week, bam. Do that every week, it's okay. Two, three days, that's fine, start off. Next month, we'll bump it up to four. And you know, just keep going, bumping it up a little bit by little bit. I started off doing 30, 40 minute workouts, started doing an hour, hour and a half, two hours. I built that consistency, and now I'm just, it's like, it's part of my plan. I work my schedule around the gym, as lame as that might sound but I try to always fit the gym into my day. Um, my dad, anytime I go to the gym, man, he's like, in Bosnian, he goes, yeah, but the gym, AKA, why the fuck are you going to the gym so much? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's what I enjoy, you know? Like, he, he understands that, he knows I like the gym, he, he messes with me all the time. My dad is massive, if you, ever, if you guys, if I ever get him on the vlog, you'll see, he's like, he's 6'3", like fucking, 270, 280, he's a big guy. So, you know, I, I get my genetics from him, thankfully, I'm glad. He's, he's just fucking stupid strong. But, he sees how much I enjoy it, and you know, it, it's fun to go. My mom, on the other hand, she loves that I'm going, staying healthy, but she's like, be careful. <laughs> Anytime I show her videos and stuff, she's like, be careful, be careful. So I'm always careful for her, careful, careful for her, but in the sense of, wanting to reach my goals at a safe rate mom don't worry i promise so yeah it's fun i'm enjoying this shit hopefully I'm gonna keep consistently uploading with youtube too um 
planning on hitting chest and shoulders with Jose tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I saw the policy on the gym did say to get consent for filming, so hopefully I can catch an employee one day and just talk to them about it, because I did have that incident the other day where they asked me to put the tripod away, which again, I don't mind. It's a public gym, not mine. Their rules, their, their house, their rules essentially, you know, and I respect that fully. So, yeah, and even like if I am recording and there's no employees there, if somebody's like trying to work out or like I'm in somebody's way, I'll move the camera, you know, it's, it's, I'm not that priority there. We're all there to work out. You know, if my camera's in somebody's way, I'll just move it out the way real quick or something. And even they're like, even though they're like, no, 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 it's okay. I, just, I don't want it to be in somebody's way, you know. I want them to be able to work out in peace and not worry about the fucking camera that's behind them or in front of them and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, the week's been going good so far, man. I can't complain, you know. Life is life, you know. Shit's gonna get tough. Shit's gonna get heavy. <laughs> like, just like the gym, you know. These weights are always gonna fucking just get heavier. The stronger I get, the stronger you get. It's only gonna get heavier, you know. I go in today, I can rep 225 on the bench. Tomorrow I can go in not being able to bench 225. But the weight stays the same, you know, no matter if you're sad, mad, happy, or anything, you know, the weight's going to stay the same, it's up to you to lift that shit, go hard, give it all you got, you know, some days you're not going to be strong, some days are going to be like, all, every day is going to be like this sometimes, sometimes you're, you'll have a week or a month where you're just fucking flying up, and then the next month you're fucking, whoop. but that's okay, don't get demotivated by a fall, you know, that. How do I, how do I phrase, phrase this? Don't get unmotivated just by taking a step back when you can take two more steps forward in a sense, if that makes any sense, you know? So, always, always go in there and bust your ass, man. You don't wanna walk out there saying, I could have done more, I could have done this, I could have done that. Don't walk out, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Walk in there, lift that fucking weight up. Ain't none but a peanut, like the legend Ron, Ronnie Coleman said. Ain't none but a peanut, man. Lift that shit up. Make that shit yours. Work hard. Work your ass off. Be consistent. Be determined. And you know, you're going to get anything you want at the end of the day. That, that goes outside of the gym. Discipline and consistency goes outside of the gym. You know, anything you do, have the discipline, have the consistency. You know, you're going to get whatever the fuck you want. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys stay beastie, and I'll catch you all on the next one. See ya.